come into the house of God. Yes. Oh, we're going to celebrate you outside these walls as we as we get ready to accept, as we get ready to accept, as we get ready to accept yes, our new beginning. Thank as you, you have shut down the world and say, I have cleaned your slate, cleaned your slate. Now walk in the baptism of the water one more again. Yes. And, 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 and remain free from sin. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do today. We thank you now for all things, this day and forevermore. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 God is good. All the time. Yeah, we said it. And all the time. God is good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, wish, I, wish, I wish we didn't have that cliche. See, y'all, you know, because now what I said is... And we say that because we've heard people say it and they've taught us that when any time somebody say God is good, you say all the time. And any time they say all the time, you say God is good. But I come to tell you today, God is an on-time God and he's on-time all the time. God is a peaceful God and he's peaceful all the time. God is a, a God that delivers joy and he delivers joy all the time. I always love to be amen in that. Amen. But God will deliver somebody in your life who hates you. Amen. To see if you're going to love all the time what hates you. We lived a life where there were times when we did not display love towards him. But he still loved us all the time. Yes. We, we don't even understand the magnitude of what we say when we say God is good. We say all the time and all the time God is good. Because if you really believe that, you you, you you will treat people like God treats you, not some of the time, but what? Oh. So you don't mean it. You don't mean it. So now, 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 now by the time we get through, I will, I, God, God, said, God said, do not speak. Simon say, say all the time. But this will say this. God said, do not speak. Simon say all the time. Simon say, say all the time. But this will say this. God is good. She 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 paying attention to her uh, 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 notes right now, trying to get her scripture. We're coming from the book of I should have told you the Psalms Psalms thirty four. Psalms thirty four. Psalms thirty yeah. But she working on giving a lot, baby. You say what you as long as you giving them nothing, you say what you want to say. You, you say what you want to say, what you want to say. You work for your give 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 a fight. You give it, you get it right. Leave her alone, y'all. Leave her alone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, but, but what I'm saying is God is good. Oh, Don't say it. Because next time you say it, I want you to mean it. Yeah, mean it. By the end of the sermon, no, oh, no, 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 so that way I knew I wasn't going to 120. <coughs> I stayed at 90. And, and, and then I got this little thing telling me when the police said, police is here, police are here. And I saw two police and, and she did I said, why this thing ain't talking to me? Because it's not God. It don't perform like it's supposed to perform all the time. You don't perform like you're supposed to perform all the time. And that's the problem. God can do it all the time because he's not performing. Amen. God can do it all the time because he is not performing. When I say God is good and you say all the time uh, without even thinking that you, you are in a state of probably, what, performing. So, so as I hear this, I, 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 I know where God knows where to take you in order to see whether or not you mean what you say. You know, I, I, I love the Lord, and I, I, and I will die for another brother or sister. Even if I don't know him, I will, I will literally lay my life down. I have put myself in a position to do so time and time again. But every time I put myself in a position where I could die in, in, in representing God, he always, not some of the time, he always rescued me. And, 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 and so... So what many of us don't understand is, and what many of us, 
going to have to separate that back row because they, 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 they distracted me. What many of us don't understand is that, 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 that when God is the same today, yesterday, forevermore, uh, you're trying to get people to be the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Amen. You're trying to get people to be God. You're putting demands on them, putting demands on people to get around. Huh? And they're missing what God is doing when they're putting the demands. Somebody should have been a shot, Mother Mary Lee, 20 times over by now. No. But God knew, God knew that one day she was going to be a great mother of a great church. And there's somebody out there that you want you want to do something to, but God knows that, that what he he knows what, what spiritual assignment that he has for them that you can yet not see because you ain't concerned about what God is saying. Come on. All right. We got things we'll say about God. God is good all the time. But yet still, you ain't on the all-time team. You know, like in basketball, I, 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 I felt good the other day. Oh, we were in the restaurant, and, 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 and the young man was talking to the, there's a restaurant we go to where, 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 where the people are from Fort Lauderdale, they're, 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 they're Latin, they're from Fort Lauderdale, every time I walk in, they, they say, hey, Mr., uh, hey, hey, homie, whatever, and so this young man, another preacher, he came in, and he was telling him, he said, he, he made me feel good. He said, I was just telling him, man, that you're a great basketball player. <laughs> He said, I was just telling him you're a great basketball player, and you're really, really good, and when you play for Oak Ridge, I said, no, I played for Evans before I went to St. Thomas. He said, yeah, but the bottom line is, you see how good I felt? This guy really don't like me. And, and, and the setting that he was in, he, he, he should have been uncomfortable. That's not, that's his business. I'm not into that. But the bottom line is, he really don't like me. But people cannot deny the truth. Amen. They cannot deny who you are. Amen. There are mixed emotions about you. Because you pick and choose who you're going to serve God through. You pick and choose who you're concerned about looking like God to. Oh, you surely want to look God, look like God when, when, when first lady's around. You, you're going to put on your godly attire. <coughs> but that name, that name when they tried to pray with your husband the other day. You didn't look at her like you're looking for lady. We cannot pick and choose Amen. Amen. who to look like God in front of. That's our problem. So don't you tell me God is good all the time and you pick and choose him. Ah, who do you want to show God to? <laughs> we cannot do it, saints. We are in a God is shifting the dispensation. God is shifting the dispensation. He's shifting the dispensation. He's shifting the dispensation. I'm trying to make up all the times you wasn't even coming. <laughs> I know mean, you like to touch the rock. You got some makeup back. <laughs> He's shifting the dispensation. If you can't see, and you know what they that got me? How they are programming us. Amen. Oh, Corona's going to be around from now on. It's going to be around from now on. We got to, we're, the life is never going to be the same. It should not be the same because your relationship with God through this should have changed. Amen. You're absolutely right. It should not be the same. Your relationship with God through all of this should have changed. Yes, yes, I know. You know what? They don't have enough, they don't have enough tests to test everybody. Y'all know that, right? right. They tell me they got a short little test. Why do you say they got to show them the test? God knew they were up to no good. See, you got to be careful about who's controlling the narrative. Hello, somebody. Amen. If you don't, if, if you don't stand for something, you'll listen for God. Trust in the Lord. 
And he said, he said, I, I talked to him. Anybody saw this? Saw the, you saw it this morning. Driving, Sunday driving with this. He said, he said, trust in the Lord. And he said, he'll give you a new life. He'll give you a new life. And then he said, he said, in this new life, you won't, you won't be like a chicken who can fly, but eat itself so fat. Uh oh, I, I can't even talk. That just happened. It just happened. Fat. <laughs> you know, what do you do? What, what, what do you do? When you put on your little sexy shorts and, and your little muscle shirt and, and then you walk in the room and they say, what did the baby do? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Huh? <laughs> you go back and get your coat to come up. So no matter what happens, what did the baby do? Uh, that's why I became a preacher. Because I can't wait, y'all don't know it. Mm -hmm. Put on my jacket. But ain't nothing, ain't nothing more embarrassing than seeing a brother with a jacket on and a button. Button. <laughs> 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 so, brother, come on. Like, hey, to me all the time. Stay with me. Oh. Psalms 34, 18 through. I'm going to walk you through this like we don't wake up with Jesus. Is that all right? Yeah. Psalms 18, 34, 18 through 22. The Lord is close to who? The broken heart. The Lord is close to the broken heart. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles. But the Lord comes to rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely destroy the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. I, I, I tell people I like, I, like, I like my haters. I thank God for my haters. I really, I really, because you are the reason God is holding me up. Amen. Uh, the more you say something's going to happen to me, the more God has to do, the more God has to do for me. So do me a favor. Don't love me. Keep hating me. Keep hating me. I like it. I like to make God work on my behalf. What I'm trying to say to you is don't despise your haters. Amen. Because of your haters, God, God will not let them be truthful about his blessings. You are a blessing unto God because God said you are a gift for himself to himself. That's what God called us. When he called you his children. Do you know what a child is to a parent? Huh? A reward for a good time one night. Come on, somebody. <laughs> a gift from a good time. But what I tell you, God said, we are a gift to him from him. Do you know how blessed you are? Do you know how God says, it breaks my heart for you to ignore me and I made you for me? It breaks my heart for you to, you to, you to give other people more concern about what's going on in their lives and, and what, what, uh, about them loving you than God loving you? Do you know how that breaks God's heart? Amen. Imagine somebody giving you a gift and then, and then, I give it. I give it away in front of them. And they, the man said, "Man, think of some bishop. I work. I work six months to buy you this bishop. I just love you, bishop, and I just want you to have this gift." And I say, "Thank you, Deacon Rap. I appreciate it, Deacon Rap. He never had, he never had no drunk things like these, Deacon Rap. He never had no drunk. You worked six months to get me these gold drumsticks. Thank you, Deacon Rap. And soon as Deacon Rap turned his back." Nigga, know I can't play no drums, him. <laughs> and the next time Deacon Rap see the drumsticks, somebody else got it. Hmm. Next time Deacon Rap see the drumsticks, Pastor Wilson got the gold drumstick. <laughs> do you know he? Do you know what that gift did to Deacon Rap? Now imagine God giving giving Himself a gift in the form of us, and we turn our lives over to His adversary. Do you know what that's doing to God? Huh? Do y'all know what that is doing to God? 
And even though we turn our lives over to the adversary, and you let the adversary tell you, God will kill all of y'all. If you ain't a, if you ain't a preacher's child, or if you ain't a pastor, whatever you just wasting your time with that church thing, because you're going to hell anyway, and you're gonna be there forever. The God just gonna kill all of y'all. And, and, and you know what? When you hear something long enough, I believe in it. I believe in it. You know, you, you, I, you know, I, 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 somebody told me back in the day he was a handsome guy. I said, what? They said, what's they said. I said, I know Wilson, man. I said, I know him. And then when I met him, I saw a picture of him when he was about 32. I said, I'm glad I want to run around him. <laughs> but the bottom line, what I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is, God takes care of us even though we don't act like the gift in which we should. That's what makes God good. He takes care of me when I, he, he, when I when I be his son. Every time I sin and, 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 and I was willfully sinning. See, when I don't know Jesus, I'm beating the hell out of Jesus. But in me trying to beat the hell out of Jesus, I beat myself in the hell. In me beating the hell out of Jesus, what I'm really doing is beating myself in the hell. Once I once so so sin, every time I sin, I'm beating Jesus. Yesterday, 
um, Friday who had been in Vietnam. And the man, he, he's got a good life, and he, I said, man, you're blessed. Amen. I said, you, you, you got your right mind, you're not on drugs, I said, and, and you're alive, I said, you're blessed. Said, but I want to thank you. He said, man, I, he said, I don't get that too often. They thank the people that was in World War I. They thank the people that was in World War II. They thank the people that was in the Korean War. They thank the people that was in, in Afghanistan. They, 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 they thank the people that, that, that was over there. They, 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 what's that place over there? The oil, the oil people. No, no, the one the war, the war we fought. Devil Storm. They thank the people that was in the Devil Storm. They thank all of them, but nobody right. thank nobody, nobody left that city. Nobody thanks, nobody thanks the people that fought in the Vietnam. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you how America is. When America wins a war, she calls it a war, a war, the Korean War. The Desert Storm War, uh, World War One, World War Two. When they don't win, they call it a conflict. <laughs> the Vietnam conflict. <laughs> we lost that war. Uh, it, it was not a war; it was a conflict. We never were in it for real. Just a little conflict. But when they win, they won a war. Amen. But when they when they're not victorious, it was just a. Uh, Conflict. So we didn't pay too much attention. Yeah, yeah it's just a conflict. But I come to tell you that God says, um, all y'all, all of us, all of us who are in this thing, and we look, we feel like Vietnam veterans, God says, they may have forgotten you because you, you don't dress the part. They may have forgotten you because you don't look victorious. They may have forgotten you because they didn't act like you were shot at. But God says, I have not forgotten you. I am good to you just like I'm good to them. And, 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 and even more so, they have, they have put you in a place where your heart is broken. I'm closer to you than I am to them. Amen. You know what? When I accept a broken heart, I humble myself. That should be. When I accept a broken heart, I humble myself. God said you are beaten and yet humble because you're not fighting right. People are taking property from you, and you don't find them right. People are taking millions of dollars from you, and you don't find them right. That's humility above measure. I seen Cash, I seen Cash shoot a cat in the head over ten dollars. No humility. That tells me that that money is their God. And tell me that, 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 that I will pimp God for money. Mm. Yeah, 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 I said it. So you think. Oh uh, and I pimp God through people. You show me a pimp without, without, without something to pimp. Amen. So we're, they're, not, they're not pimping God through other pimps. They're pimping God through people to us. Amen. They're using us. They're taking advantage of us. You got people using the church to, 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 to get money from people. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, they, 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 they're, not, they're not pimping, they're, they're pimping, they're pimping, they're pimping God. So they think. You got, you got, you got people coming to church just to get a, get a wife, get a woman, not a wife. You see a lot of that over here. Amen. Yeah, they, 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 they tired of, they tired of, Cooking for themselves, or watch for themselves, but when you don't treat it right, you're going to cook the for yourself anyway. Amen. Hello? So, 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 get out of this mindset that, that you got to do something for God to be good to you. He's going to be good to you because you're a gift to Him anyway. He is going to be good to you. But God, God treat Him better than He treat me. Don't you know if you get all your reward over here, your, your reward over there is going to be left? I go through. I go through what I go through when I fight. What I fight, but I ain't complaining because I know. I know I, I got a good life, but this ain't the life that I would. I, I would desire. So imagine the size of my mansion. Mm, come on. See, every time you complain, the block that you supposed to put on your mansion, you missed it, and you can't replace it. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you. He says clearly. Listen to this. He says. He says. He says. He says. The Lord 
is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Am I going to crush myself? No. I will beat myself up. I will make myself look bad. Now you're going to either do one thing. You're going to encourage me while checking me. See, there's a way if you just listen for God. How many people know that to listen for God, you must be patient? Amen. To hear from God, you got to be patient. Amen. Because when God first starts talking, he talks like this. I love you. I love you. I love you. See, he starts out with a whisper so like you can't even hear. When God talking to you, why he ain't talking to me? You're not waiting. You're not patient. Because he wants to see if you're going to make it about you or you're going to wait on to see what he has for you. So he rescues those who have been crushed by you. That's why I say keep crushing me. Keep crushing me. And God don't, that, 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 now I know God is working in my life because if I had just known you, girl, and not known God, if I had just trusted you, man, and not trusted you too far, I would have gave up on life. Now, 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 and and all people say, but that's on him. That's on him. Do you know what you're doing when you make somebody give up on life? They might have a child that might go a different route because you made their daddy give up on life. They might have a mom that 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 that, that was being inspired to live by her only child, but because you 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 made them give up on life, it crushed the mom's spirit, and she gave up too. Do you understand? When you crush somebody, you're not crushing them, but you're crushing everything attached to them. Do you understand why God said you have a, 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 a double price to pay when you have a chance to help? Watch this. God just told you he's close to the broken hearted. He just told you he's going to rescue those who have been crushed every time. So he told you I'm working on them. And you want to be with God, but you won't. Help when you see God is working. Do y'all hear what I just said? You say you want to be close to God, and God just told you, I am close to who? The broken hearted. Those who are in a place where they can't do what they want to do, their world is beating them down, they're, they're caught up in the mission of God, and you are trying to make them think they're left in. Because of the way God has placed them. And the reason you like that is because you ain't happy when God placed you. And you're trying to take it out on me. You're trying to take it out on somebody else. But to understand who's doing the placing and you'll be all right. Wherever you are, whoever's in your life, they couldn't have gotten there without God's what? Commission. He's close to the broken heart. And, and so now, so now he said, I'm close to the broken heart. He said, and I will rescue those who have been crushed not some of the time. All the time. And he says, now that you have helped me, it shows that you're righteous. Now that I helped you, it shows that I'm righteous. I want to ask y'all something. Have y'all ever seen Bishop in a place to help somebody and not help him? Huh? Now you understand why I got so much trouble. Listen to what the word says. He says the righteous person faces many what? Troubles. Now you see why I got so much trouble. Because God gave, gave dominion in this world to Satan. And I'm helping you I come out of the mindset of the way the world has made you think. She came in here afraid to die. But today she's not afraid to die. You think Satan happened with me about that? Huh? But the bottom line is this is what God said. Those who are righteous will have many troubles. Because I know why you're going through what you're going through. Because the closer you get to God, the more the world will try to make you think God don't love you. The closer you get to God, the more the world will make, try to make you think God's going to destroy you. 
But y'all know I got a saying about that when the devil tells me God going to destroy me. What I tell you, anybody know what I tell him? Go ahead. Y'all, you know what I tell him? Yeah. If he ain't destroyed you, much as you did, why ain't he going to destroy me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Satan. Amen. If he, if, he, if he ain't destroyed you trying to take half this kingdom, and, and, and he didn't destroy you, and he let you live, how can the world even convince me that he's going to kill me and I'm going to be away from him all my life? Slow down. Satan ain't in heaven, but he do have access to God from time to time because he has to get God's permission to mess with me. So if this Satan has access to God and I overcome Satan, and I endure my, my day in hell, which I'm going to endure that because I can't get in my way down there. Because you know what? The only way you can overcome hell is now you know God is real. If you went to hell without knowing God is real, you couldn't, ha you couldn't handle what you would have to endure for a day. But once you meet God, Amen. even hell can't hold you back. Amen. Once you meet God, You'll say, God, you're good, because you know what? You shouldn't have destroyed me. I thought I was not, I thought I was not helping worthy. But uh, you know, I'm down here now, but because I came from a spirit-based church, I know I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm only gonna be here for a day. Amen. But if you're coming out of a religious church, you're gonna get down there and that day gonna that, that don't seem that day's gonna seem like eternity. And then when God comes to get you, you're gonna say, No. <laughs> Pastor Durright told me that I was supposed to be in hell the rest of my life. Oh, come on, saints. Even in the scriptures. He said, people, circumstances, he said, not even a pit of hell can keep you from my love. Did we learn that the other day? He said, not even a pit of hell can stop me from loving you. I might have to sing you that'll purify you, but you're coming out. I'm coming out. Oh, that's down wrong. That's down wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all don't even know what she's saying. I want the world today. I'm coming out. What is she talking about? You know. Right now, he says, he says, for the righteous person, the righteous person faces many troubles. Mother Mary Lee going through it right now. She going through it. And the thing about it, guess who going through it? One of the people she loved the most. Putting her through it. Huh? But you know, I know she hear from God. Because Mary, Mother Mary, they don't have a, a mean bone in her body. Amen. But God said, right now, put her out! That last one! I said, Mother Mary, I said, Mother Mary, you didn't do that. She said, yes, I did. And I, I said, Mother Mary, you, 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 I know you were up on this. No, I slept good. <laughs> <laughs> because she heard from God. Anytime you sleep after doing something that you are uncomfortable with doing, that means God said, this is what you need to do to get your peace. Amen. Y'all, 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 I heard that answer there. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, ain't no more, we ain't going to no more place. <laughs> I, I had a good one out. Yeah, you did? Yeah, I know you did. You put them out of their place though, didn't you? Hey, hey, hey. I put them out of their place real good. I know you did. There was no more place by There's no more place by You ain't right, now you could be my place. <laughs> <laughs> I had to know she was going to place to know that God didn't change her, bro. <laughs> if I didn't know that about it, I would think she was still the same. But now she don't do it no more. You didn't change her. <laughs> yeah, you trying to keep up from the spirit of Jesus. When she came over here, she was gone. But now she came over, she stopped. You keep over to her. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to keep over? Each time. 
Why? Because the laborer, the laborers are what? Few. God can't let nothing happen to a righteous person. What? I finally got one that is righteous. I got to protect that one. I finally got one that's concerned more about others than themselves. I got to protect that one. Bishop, you do some stupid things, but I care more about people than myself. So God got to what? Protect me. Now someone's having what? Oh, oh y'all about to get there. Y'all about to get there. Y'all about to get there. God is good, y'all. For real, he is good. And I don't want this to be a statement. I want you to know that there's a guarantee that if you're broken hearted, God is close to you. I want it to be a guarantee that, 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 that if they crush you, God said, don't worry. Our business is his. I want you to know that I'm living in, the, in, the, in the, not the insurance that man gives me, but the insurance of God. Right and he, he comes and he says, calamity. calamity. Those who crush me. Yes. Those who, who, who can not say that, that I'm righteous and, and I'm just doing it for a show. Yes. Those that say, Bishop ain't really like that. He just he, he, he really doing it for real. Uh, he, he wouldn't tell us he's doing it. I'm telling you I'm doing it because this ain't my church by myself. Amen. Come on now. Amen. That's what I'm telling you. I'm a member just like you and when I get here my job is to Amen. That's what I tell you. I don't tell you to brag about it. Amen. I try to I, I, I try to bring some conviction on you. Right. I might not have money, but, but you know I can I, I, I can help Deacon Richard drive a van. He ain't gotta drive it all the time. So Deacon Rap told me. He ain't saying he ain't got no money though. Because he drives a Mercedes. <laughs> and and, 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 and he gotta have money because he got a tag on his head. He just got it. God bless you. God give them a hand as they come in. Give them a hand as they come in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Brother Alvin and, and, and Sister Lisa. Amen. Amen. They, 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 they Amen. don't know. Amen. They don't know, but they 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 soon they, they are soon to be members. They don't know it yet, but they are soon to be members. Yes, yes. Like when, yeah, 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 yeah. So he says, he says, he says, calamity will surely destroy the wicked. What says you're wicked? When God just told you that I am close to those with a broken heart, and you're trying to tear down one with a broken heart, and I say, I know the Lord. That's all you do, baby. You ain't never met him. <laughs> yeah, you know him, but you ain't never met him. Because if you had met God, you know there's somebody in trouble. God is right there near them. And you would not try to tear them down. You would give a word to help God handle his business. You, may, you gotta understand what Jesus said. I, I must be about my father's business. He was said, I must know how to recognize when God is working in somebody's life. Amen. I need to Amen. learn how to recognize it. Recognize. Most yes. times when God is working in somebody's life, it's not gonna be looking like he is. Y'all want to hear me right now? Uh, y'all know y'all bishop. I told a brother the other day, uh, I, was, I was witnessing to a brother the other day, and I told him, I said, it wasn't long ago that I, I did some cocaine, and I wasn't even whispering to the sister, and she said, huh? <laughs> you got to understand, if you're ashamed, if you're ashamed of what God has brought you, you can't really help nobody. Right. Amen. That's the purpose of shame. I know your shoulder is shaking. It's been here a while. You got to catch it up. Yeah, the shoulder. I got a leader. That's why my shoulder been hurting. See, because see, if your shoulder ain't hurting, that means mine got to hurt. When I get your shoulder back to hurt, mine won't hurt no more. Uh, you know what? Uh, oh, Lord, yes. Calamity! will surely destroy the wicked. If I am adding calamity to somebody's life, I gotta be destroyed, why? Because I'm working for the destroyer. Amen. If I'm not adding peace to somebody's life, I gotta be destroyed, why? Because I'm working for the destroyer. Amen. God is an attitude. He's an attitude, not a taker from him. <laughs> oh, my. He's an attitude. 
The Bible says God comes to give you life and life more abundantly. He wants to add life to you. The Bible says the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's a take from him. Yes, right. 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 take from him. Yeah, I knew you get that one. Y'all just stay with me right now. Calamity will surely destroy the wicked because you chose to be destroyed. If I throw destruction your way, guess what's going to come back my way? Huh? Y'all said it no secret. I told you you're going to reap what you sow. I told you that. See, I remember the days, uh, Mr. Irwin, this is why you couldn't have been my wife. I remember the days when I come home, man. I come home mad at myself. Raise the hell at this innocent woman. Get straight out raise the hell at Because I was mad at who? Me. And God beat me down the more and the more and the more. To one day I realized, you know what? God, you trying to teach me how to love when I'm mad at me. God, you trying to teach me how to, how to serve while I'm suffering. You hear this? You teaching me how to serve while I am suffering. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody can serve a child. When, 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 when the bank account full, I, I love the Lord. Yes, you do. Know. I'm going to cook me some, 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 some dinner today. And I love the Lord. Yes, I do. But the Lord said, I ain't going to let Irma cook these two weeks. One week. She ain't gonna let her. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then he, he, he had her coming here, and she had this big old pan. She said, I said, oh my God, you made me a pasta. She said, that was you asked, buddy. I got home, it was upside down pineapple cake. Do you know I love upside down pineapple cake, but I didn't eat but one piece because I, I, I thought it was going to be pasta. <laughs> Look, kid, throw that cake up. You know, you know, you know, I, I, I had my heart set on her pasta, a lasagna. But yeah, well, past that ain't all the hood, so I've been to say this for But uh, so calamity, calamity will surely bless the man that walketh down the council of the ungodly, and I stand in the well of sinners. What's my sin? My sin in the seat of the scorn. Psalms 1. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree. Y'all hear that? He shall be like a tree. Guess what? He should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yes. Guess what? Even though Bishop might look like that today, God said, I'm still going to dress him up with a pretty leaf tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. his heart is pure. Mm -hmm. I cannot control this flesh. He can rather, you cannot control this flesh. Don't even wrestle with it. So come to God and say, Lord, whatever you, whatever you have put me, whatever you have made me, let me learn how to love right where you put me. I grew up in this neighborhood two streets old. And we literally had to fight to live over here. Wow. I was the only, I was a, I was a, I was the only child of my aunt, uncle raised me, and I was the oldest boy I had to protect my two little cousins. But one day a, a boy that was about the name of Michael Rugg, never forget him. That boy hit me so hard, I saw him man. I was, man, I ain't never been hit that hard in my life. And you know what happened? I had nobody to turn to. And it's a shame that I'm a pastor today of a church. And the devil knocked the hell out of me is sometimes I feel like I got nobody in the church. I'm glad God gave us a new beginning. Amen. I'm glad God shut down the whole world and he said, I'm going to give the whole world a, a do over. He, he, didn't, he didn't shut down the spirit of Jesus. He didn't shut down Orlando. He didn't shut down Fort Lauderdale. He what? shut down the whole world. He said, now all y'all can start all over with me. That's why next Sunday, we're going to the beach. We're going to have our fifth Sunday beach service, and we're all going to get baptized again. Hallelujah. He said, I thank God. You know what? He has purified my spirit. Now I'm going to be baptized in peace. So when you get baptized, you know what God is doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Let me show you something. Do y'all know what the baptism does? Huh? It prepares me for the fire. If you are in this world, you are going to burn. Y'all got to yeah, forgive me. I ain't preached in a long time, so I ain't going to rest today. I'm trying to make up. Like I, like I had that hero that rock about 12 times because he's trying to make up. And you got some good hair, man. Yeah, you really look at the waves all over the 
I ain't talking about my fellas, I'm talking about you all day today. That's all right. <laughs> No, I had to read it. Don't worry about 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 it. But the water, the water, yeah, I want to see some. See this water right here? Trying to get it. That's good, that's good. It's not good. <laughs> I just, I want to see if we're going to curl up, man. You got to have for real, man. If I need to have to, man, I'm going to get you <laughs> But the water, what the water does, come step back and step back and switch. When you get baptized, when you're in this world, you're going to burn. You're going to have days where you can't overcome what you're going through. That is the fire. But when you get baptized and know that God has cleansed you, he said, I have pre-soaked you so you won't burn up. You'll be like the bush. I have pre-soaked you. i got to baptize you again. And this time you have the wisdom of knowing no weapon because I have been soaked by the spirit of the living God. Baby, baby, make sure you get this phone number. I'm going to tell the Bible, they say go to Bible but he has been pre-soaked. Pre-soaked. Baptism. So many of y'all have gotten baptized and yet still felt guilty. That's why God said, I'm going to wipe out. I'm going to wipe everybody's slate clean. How do you know your slate is clean? Because you're still here on the other side of the room. You got a clean slate. You cannot control the flesh because the flesh journey has already been mapped out. You are earth, and your earth matches the place it's supposed to match that day that you exist. Don't get mad at yourself. Amen. And pray that you got an angel in your life like I got. Amen. But then you got to understand something. Can I say something? <laughs> Thank you, man. Can I say something? Y'all yeah, see that angel over there? Huh? Y'all still have y'all still have riding around with me. Um, past couple of years. Get your pleasure. Get your pleasure. Y'all, y'all saw that angel riding around with me in them one SUV, another SUV, a Kia. So last Mother's Day, I was riding down the road, and I just said, you know what? This woman has been so good to me. I'm tired of her riding around and riding in the trucks, and I went out and bought her that Mercedes. She wasn't even with me. She didn't even know she had it. And, 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 and I just went and bought it. Now notice, I got a Mercedes truck now. But I just got a, I got a, I got a three-year-old Mercedes truck. She got a brand new car. I got a three-year-old Mercedes. My wife gonna always look better than me when she rolls. That she represents me. Amen. That was Amen. Take care of your blessing, brothers. Take care of your blessings. And you're not taking, I'm not taking care of her. What am I doing, Deacon Rab? She is a gift from who? God. So now what I'm doing, I'm thanking the one who gave me the gift when I take care of the gift. Amen. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Huh? God, don't say it yet. Because you ain't there yet. God is good. Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Because I don't want to be a cliche when I get through today. When you say all the time, I want you to, I want you to, you know what? He is good to me all the time. All the time. You ain't going to say it, but, you know, God is good all the time. God's good all the time. God's good all the time. God's good all the time. <laughs> then, when I can see you walking your dignified self in church. Last Sunday, you was all talking about God is good all the time. And walk your dignified self in church. What the hell are you doing in my seat? You don't, you don't sit here no more. <laughs> 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 but God, you, you, you last Sunday you preached God was good all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I don't I have not met God yet. I'm a man or woman of God. Because when I have met God and I have seen him. I know he has given me what I did not deserve. So he's good to me all the time. 
I'm supposed to be good all the time to what he created. Amen. My brothers and sisters. Amen. That's when it means something to you. That's when it's real to you. That's when you can show that you know what? So what? No, I said, so what, baby? So what? So what you did that? So what you didn't do this? So what? But you know what she's saying? Did I tell y'all about the waitress last week? I did tell y'all about the waitress last week. I didn't tell you about the waitress? I wasn't here. I didn't tell y'all about the waitress last week? I wasn't here. The man went into the restaurant. I heard, I, heard, I told you that, just, just forgive me, so I'm 62 now. The man goes to the restaurant, he sits down in the, in, 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 in the chair, and, and he's sitting down with his wife eating dinner, and, 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 and then, 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 then he, she looks over, and, and he sees, the lady sees, she says, honey, that's not Susan. Who's Robert with? That's not a Susan. Oh my God, Robert is cheating on Susan. Che Robert, Robert is cheating on Susan. And then, and then, and then the husband says, honey, don't, 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 don't get crazy, don't get crazy. That's, that's, that's Robert's mistress. And so then, 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 then the waitress comes up and she stands up and she says, she walks up and she says, hi, Joan. How you doing, Joan? Um, you haven't been here in a while, Joan. How, how you been doing? So the wife looks at her when the waitress leaves and says, what was that all about? She said, why she flirting with you right in front of me? And then she says, the husband, the husband said, honey, I, 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 since you know about Susan, about, about Robert, I, I'm going to confess, that's my mistress. Oh. Mistress, oh my God, oh my God, I, I want divorce. I, 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 I'm getting, I'm leaving here. And, 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 just raising all kinds of things. And then the husband said, now you know if you leave, you're leaving the Mercedes. I'm not giving you a Mercedes because it's in my name. You're leaving the house because the house is in my name. You're leaving, you're leaving. I'm, I'm keeping the kids because I'm a lawyer. Uh, uh, you're leaving all that. Then the wife looks at the husband and says, can I say one more thing? The husband says, what you want to say? He said, our mistress looks better than their mistress. <laughs> 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 Ain't that something? <laughs> 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 our mistress better than Robert's okay, mistress. <laughs> God is telling us, no matter how bad you look, you look good to him. And, 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 and what I must remember, that no matter where you are, you are placed there by God, and he's close to you because you're broken. And when, you're, when God said, I'm close, I'm close to the broken heart. So if I really know God, I want to help God help you. And now I become righteous. And so when thing, trouble comes my way, guess what happens? God said, I will rescue every time. Because the labors are, the harvest is plenty, the labors are few. I ain't got too many that's righteous. I got too many that care more about others than themselves. I got to take care of that fool, Maurice Robinson. He might end up in some foolish places, but wherever he is, he going to show them me. He ain't going to cuss nobody out. He ain't going to fight. This flesh is a mess, and if you get caught up in what it does, it'll make you, your spirit, you'll be in the midst of, you'll be confused. Am I doing right? Am I doing wrong? When you listen to people, you get more confused. You ain't, you, you know better. You said know better. You get more confused. And when you get confused, what are you bored of? Anybody know? The presence of God. Because God said he's not in the midst of confusion. Your mind is confused, and, and God said, I got nothing to do with you. He said, I mean, if you were hot or cold, he said, I, I don't want nothing to look warm. It is me or nothing. And he said, my people are peculiar people. My people, this brother right here, love with all my heart. I'm mad at him right now. Yeah, I'm mad at him. He got my little jewel over there. And keep it away from me. I, 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 I'm not gonna hug her no more. No, he told me today. I hugged the saint, right? But you do a hug her without asking me first. <laughs> I'm not gonna hug her no more. I think that's why he ain't been bringing over here. But I kind of tell you, this brother here loves the Lord. 
But can I just, since you told me, let me tell you, be careful what you say. You know what you said the last time you said? Huh? You said, Bishop, I thank you for making for making me a what? A man. Don't you know the devil got mad at me and him when he said that? Don't you know the devil wanted to separate you from me? Because not only was I making you, he was also making me. And you gave him, you gave him, you, 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 see, you gotta understand something. A battle does not con 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 concede that, that he has won a war. Revelation chapter 22 says, I am victorious. I don't care how many battles I lose, I am victorious. Why am I victorious? Because God is good all the time. Yes, yes. I'm a victim, not a victim. All right. When I see, when I see God working through us, you know what the devil had to do? He's trying to separate us, bro. And now you know what? I, I was Mother Daniel telling him. She said, Now back the wheels. Now that you know what the devil trying to do, don't you let it happen. Because now you know better. God is showing us. Ain't no wrong, COVID, corona. Tell you what. If somebody tell you you got corona, say, go buy me a bill. That's the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know what I'm saying? I'm not fighting nothing. When God calls me, I'm not fighting. Why am I going to fight? Because I know there's life on the other side of this world. I'm not fighting nothing. I want to, I want to give you that same assurance. My, uh, Missionary Earl, what name of that church you came from? Can you remember the name? New Way Covenant. New Way Covenant. Oh, I can't say that because the, 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 the expert lady is in the house, so I'm not even. That's why it's That's why it's ex. I just want permission. See, you, you have to respect the word. You have to respect ministry. So, so I just want permission. She was scared to die. Because she was listening to a dead minister. Mm. Mm. When you ain't preaching life into somebody, they scared to die. Mm. How many people here came here scared to die? Mm. Huh? Mm. Are you scared to die today? Mm. No. See? Because we preach life, not just here, but life forevermore. Yes. So we start, we already done sat in the judgment seat. See, when you sit in the judgment seat, now you know you are not the judge. Hello, somebody. Yeah. But if you ain't sat in the judgment seat, you still think you are the judge. And if you still think you're the judge, that means you still scared to die. And you're trying to scare somebody else into doing what you want them to do. God said, you water. Like I watered him today, he'll be here from now on because I watered him today. And God going to bring an increase. Amen. Well, he's going to chew me up. I can hear him. I can hear him already. He gonna call me after church, and and, 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 and I'm gonna answer because he gonna have a call me from another number. As soon as I hear the voice, this is Bishop Robinson phone, and um, call back later. <laughs> da! <laughs> Love you, man. Hey, I'm out of here, y'all. Amen. I'm gonna tell you today, you gonna get you gonna get what you give. Amen. Amen. You give God, you get God back. And people that are people that are weak or going through, they are right. They are your test to see where you are with God. Did we learn that? I miss you last week. I miss y'all too. Yeah, I, I, you were glad we ain't got no money tonight. I, I just, I won't roast you on Sunday, but I will roast you. You better be glad to know I will roast you on the Monday. <laughs> I got Sunday roasters, and I got Monday roasters. I'm just messing with you. We're going home. I want to tell you, saints, believe in God. Believe in God. Just close your eyes for a minute. Oh, God, you know, we sang this for a while. You're going to make it. You're going to make it because of him. Without him, guess what? You would have lost your life. Without him, you wouldn't have no life. But because he is who he is, you're, Brother Terry, talk to Gonna make it. Yo, 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 gonna make it. Because of him. If you don't believe that you're gonna make it, just look 
Where well, you put the circumstances, the circumstances that you put yourself in, yeah. that some of y'all should be living, some of y'all should be with the people you with, because God let you live, and God wouldn't let her leave. You're gonna make it. Hallelujah. You're gonna make it because of him. Don't think about nobody. This, ain't, this word ain't from Brother Terry. This word ain't, 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 ain't from uh, Sister, Sister, Sister Mike's well. This word is for you to make it. And you can't make it concerning yourself with you because you can't do nothing for yourself. God says it's not good for man to be alone. So I gave anybody that's in your life, treat them as the angel that they are. God sent them to you to help you through. God sent them to you to help you through. Imagine where you would be. I don't know where I would be without the spirit of Jesus. You guys are inspiration to me. That's why there's not, there's not one person in here that I wouldn't lay my life down for. There's not one person in here that there's anything I got, you can have it. Because I've been Huh? I've had it the same. I've heard. Oh. <laughs> You're asking for what I can give. <laughs> You're asking for what I can give. You're going to make it. Close your eyes and just stay with me for a moment. You're going to make it. You know, the song really said, never would have made that. Stay still. But I come to tell you, you made it. You made it because you're going to accept God today. You're going to accept your new beginning. And you're not going to give up on God. And how do I know I have not given up on God? Because I won't give up on no brother or sister that God puts in my path as in me. You're going to make it. Because of him. I got it, Shale. I can't. I, I, I don't trust my wife. I don't trust Pastor Wilson. I don't trust my pastor. Amen. I trust everybody through God. Amen. When I trust you through God, you can do no more than me than God allowed. Amen. And one thing about it, you do something God said, I'll never let them do more than you than you can be. Amen. You better know your word. Amen. You better know your word. See, the only thing got the Holy Ghost is had. How many people are blessed today? How many people are blessed today? I think you don't find a church I, 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 Brother Al, you don't worry, you're going to be a little hard to get, but I got you. I got you. I promise you, I got you. If I ain't got you, my cones hurt for nothing. And I, my cones don't hurt for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hurt for nothing. These little brothers in the morning here. When I preach like this, these little children don't hurt for nothing. Everybody, everybody, please just close your eyes for a moment. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you for this word. We thank you, Lord, that it has penetrated. And you told us that you're good all the time. And, and, and for me to know that you're good all the time, I got to see somebody who feels like you're not good to them. And tell them what you did for me. Give them my, not my royal truth, but my ugly truth. And in giving them my ugly truth, Lord, they'll get hope. And that hope was born of the faith that cannot waver and shall not waver. In other words, I just planted, or either I just water. And Lord, that's all I'm supposed to do. I am not the convert. I am not God Himself. I thank you right now, Lord, you, that you have laid the spirit of our pastor to, to just bring a, 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 an order to this ministry. An order because she lives in the city. She'll she'll be here to, to fellowship and and work with the saints in, 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 the, in the manner in which I couldn't because of where I live. But I thank you, Lord. I thank you for every soul that you have allowed me to give you, to give, to give you to them. I thank you for trusting me, Lord, as a shepherd. I thank you, Lord, for giving me a season where I can show them that it's not about their money, but it's about God's house. And we should come together and take care of his house and I promise you, when you take care of God's house, you don't have to worry about yours. You can take care of it. I tell you every day, 
I got a model for living. Every day I wake up, I tell God, I'm gonna, I give you today. I'm gonna find somebody, I'm gonna give them more, I'm gonna give more than, 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 than you give me. I do that with God every day and I ain't beat him yet. The more I give, the more he gives unto me. I try to not give God every day. And I've come to tell you, it's not about your money, but it's about giving love when the hate is expected. It's about giving peace when they expect you to cuss them out. This is what God says. This is what he says is real to him. He said, if you'll give that, I know you'll give your money, because now you're not honoring your money, you're honoring the God who created you. So Lord, right now, and we thank you for showing us a part of heaven today, and we're living witnesses to a living God, so as we live, we, 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 we live to, we, 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 we love to live and not live to love. Amen. My children which on earth, my kingdom is your kingdom. I am nourishing you daily. I gave you life today. So you add to the life of us. I have forgiven your trespasses. Why? Somebody in my why? There it is. So you can forgive the trespasses of others. I have delivered you from temptation by doing what? Leading you into purpose. So don't what? Rather? Can y'all say that for me? My, my, this is God's prayer to his children. My children? Say it. Y'all know what it said. I want to My kingdom is your kingdom. I am nourishing you today.
your favor. Yeah. I, I, I 
I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about this brother. But I'm telling you, man, and the thing about it is, you ain't going to be afraid of the demon that's trying to capture the kid with the Bible says clearly. And that when, when Paul walked up to that, when, when he strangely walked up to the demon, he said, Oh, I know. He didn't say no. The demon said, Could have a party with you. And you're going to know him. And you're going to know him. You're going to stand up and get out of the way. You're not going to be afraid of him. Iron right. sharpens. That's right. Most times they hear that they say men sharpens men. But when we say the spirit of God sharpens spirit. We remind if we if you if we see a brother or sister by the wayside, we remember you quickly. We make you know that you are a member of this ministry. We remember you. And everybody, every member of the church has that right. My brother, you are a member of the spirit of Jesus. Let's get up and go do some work. We all right? My sister, I thank you. Uh, she been here already. And she came and she said she fell in. She said she said she really enjoyed Pastor Nisa. She said she did. you come that Okay. She said she really. Don't don't celebrate your pastor. Yes. Yeah. 